All right, guys, so we have a special project today. We are going to begin our sculpture unit. While other classes are finishing up their painting unit, you guys are a little bit ahead. So you guys are going to be helping me with a 3D origami installation. So hopefully you walked in and got two pieces of color paper. It doesn't really matter which one, but go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you have both of those. All right, so the way I teach origami is I like to do it first, and then I have you guys try it out on your own, and then we have a final piece. So what I want you to do is not touch anything at all. I just want you to watch. I want you to what? Watch. It can be very confusing. So I want to make sure that you're listening and following directions. Yes, yes? All right. So we are going to be making origami fortune tellers. Whenever you start a fortune teller, you fold it in half. Close it. Open it up. Fold it the other direction. So when I open this up, there should be kind of a cross. Like so, you're gonna take all the corners and put them right smack dab in the middle as best you can. The better you line this up, the better it's gonna turn out. Don't be lazy, give it a really good fold. Then you turn it over and you do the same thing on the other side. So I'm taking those corners and folding them into the middle. Okay, so once it looks like this, it kind of reminds me of like a trampoline or something. It has these little slots, these little pockets here. This is where your fingers are gonna go. But right now my fingers can't fit in there. It's not folded enough. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to fold it in half. I'm gonna fold it the other way. And what this is, is it's loosening up the paper. I'm gonna fold it in half this way, fold it in half this way. That way my fingers can get inside and I can create a fortune teller. So remember, we're gonna create some of these for the hallway. We wanna create as many as we can so that we can create a really cool installation. Now I want you to take the paper that you dislike the most, so this is gonna be our practice, and give us a thumbs up. All right, now remember, you guys are following along with me. If you already know how to do it, awesome. You're gonna fold yours in half, like a book, and then open it up and give me a thumbs up. All right, the line should be heading towards you. I want you to fold it away from you. That way, when you open it up this time, there should be a cross. Give me a thumbs up once you have that. All right, and then the corners go towards the middle. So go ahead and just line it up as you can. Fold it, fold it, fold it. There should be four folds in all. Give me a thumbs up when you have this square again. Okay, now we are flipping it to the other side. Fold the corners in like so. Remember, get a really good fold. Give me a thumbs up once it looks something like this. All right, this is the part where people get confused. Remember, now we are loosening up the paper. I'm gonna fold it in half, open it. I'm gonna fold it the other way, open it. I'm going to fold it in half and then fold it in half again. Think of it kind of like stretching your muscles. The paper needs to be stretched too. You know you've done it right when you can slip your fingers inside of the pockets. And create your fortune teller. Give us a thumbs up once you have it. All right, awesome. If that um, worked out for you, awesome. If it didn't, awesome, because we're gonna try it again. So this one's gonna be our final. I want you guys to put your effort into this. This is the one you're gonna turn into me. I want you to fold in half. And you can do this with me. You don't have to stop. Fold in half again. Take the corners, bend them in. Take the corners, bend them in on the other side. And then of course you want to give it a little bit of a stretch. And then of 
course, it should start working for you. All right, here is your goal today. I want you guys to make, for me, at least three fortune tellers. You can take one, take your favorite that you created home with you. Please turn in two for the hallway. I need like a million of these to make this installation work. So I'm gonna need more than one from each person. So you can submit two, you can submit three. That would be awesome, whatever you can do to help. Once you've done that, you can choose a new activity of your choice. Have an amazing day.